Get him on this side of the street. Fuck out, look at that big motherfucker. All these ones. <laughs> I want to capture morning. Tell me about the morning. This is so wonderful to be able to be sick in your little house. Oh, you're sick? Oh. Mono? Alright. COVID? You need some horse bedding pellets? <laughs> Shorter shorts. Oh no, I just touched clothes. What brand? I'm gonna get sick now. What do you guys want people to know about you? You're nice. He put his things in his ears. So rude. I was asking you a question, Jerry. Jerry, take them out. You're good at this. He's so much like Larry David. Oh. Do you think Larry David's an asshole? No, I think he's funny <laughs> on the show. I think he's funny on the show. Is there anything you want people to know about you? Oh, he's sick. You got sick now too? I was shaking, so freezing, yesterday. Dave, how do you not get sick in this thing? Don't you find out with living in the van that, like when you're in a new place, worried you're gonna get the knock, figure out the right thing to do, and it could be hard to sleep. Yes. But once you <laughs> get settled in, wouldn't you like to just remove the shower and just have this open? No. You checked it out. The story teller has no shower. I like this room now. Like a mini apartment in Manhattan. Yeah. I know. Uh, to build this, it'll probably take us six years. Six years. I'm a weekend guy and I would have to use your father's... Uh, How much electricity do you have? How many amp hours of us? Uh, if it wasn't for COVID, I don't know if I'd ever have finished my band because I had nothing else to do. I see people and I want to help them. If it wasn't for COVID, I don't think we'd be living in a van. And that would be very sad. <laughs> Unexpected outcomes. You bought the van because of COVID? Because we didn't want to travel to the East Coast by airplane or stay in hotels. Rent a car, Airbnbs. We haven't been in an airport or an airplane in over four years. I really prefer to drive. You see more, you meet more people. It's more adventurous. We're getting there, not the being there. <laughs> have you gotten the knock before? You have, many times, huh? A few times, yeah. Once in Florida. Here, they with a megaphone. Are they always nice? Coughing all over me, man. Does he do that too? Is that why you're sick? Because he's rude like oh, that. You know what's funny, Dave? Get not straight. Someone has to have their head like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Much. We tried to do foot things. Interview for you from over here. I know. We did. <laughs> it's like a camera because it's really full of virus. <laughs> Explain why there's a backup of people trying to get into that parking lot. Why don't they just let them go get through and pay the meter? Why is it an open gate just to drive in? Why do they have the pollution sitting here burning fuel? We fought against them expanding all this area. This is a wild area. Cliffs are eventually going to come down yeah, and yeah. this is going to all erode. They wanted to build a wall yeah. or extend out, which would fix that problem. I guess we kind of like the traffic. I like the traffic because people can't drive up by fast. Yeah, that's true. It's quiet, that's the main thing, but it's also safer. You will hear the roar of engines. The spot that I told you about, don't tell anybody about that spot. Oh, we will not speak to anyone about it. It's relatively quiet, Our right? Our son's driving over to have a visit with us in a few hours. Where can he park? The guy in Maserati, I think his name's Dave. Um, oh. He'll probably be leaving soon. Go to the restaurant. Or you can just pull up alongside you, no? They weren't blocked. I wasn't blocked in like that. I was blocked in because the car in front of behind me were like oh, so okay. close right that I couldn't even. Oh. That spot last night. PCH is just far enough that it's not too bad. My insulation's really good. People don't drive by fast. There was that one. Yeah, I heard one guy. Last yeah. night. Oh, yeah, what was that? And why is there a yellow light out in the street? I don't know. Yeah, you should complain you? about the yellow light. There's more secrets about that. There's water and power in that complex too that we could poach. You could plug in over there? <laughs> it's the right. only place left. All the places, because I told people about my spots. You know the a pole? Couple of people. That pole has a, yeah. a 110 outlet? Yeah. Well, we Why is it several? Why is it 230? Because it's not Europe. We've only plugged in twice or three times in the past two years. Hey, did you know Shane from California? I know Shane from this beach. You know, there's a certain amount of people linger around this beach day after day here. I've been doing it since we were kids. If you grew up in the San Fernando Valley, you go to Zuma Beach, oh. you surf, you learn how special this spot is because of the deep canyon right here where the, the waves can, they just like come up to the shore real quickly and it makes these heavy waves. The further you go that way, it changes. 
I see a lot of surfers on the other side of Point B and the new staircase. They're walking with their surfboards all the way down. It's a big point break. Clear water there. Prominent land masses that stick out. We were in uh, Canada. There were three different places. One was called Point Disappointment. Those are the waves that come off the point. The way the land shaped under the water. There's a shelf. It's a rocky bank, so it's pretty consistent. A lot like Malibu by the pier, the waves break kind of perfect because of the way that the land is shaped. Here is a beach break. Sand just kind of shifts and changes, and as the waves change directions and the tides change, and so it's the a waves. Surprise. Here, that you can practice the same waves over and over again. You've heard of pipeline. That's not a point break, but it's a very consistent reef break. No waves is the same. It's like a fingerprint. You think it? You have to be kind of neurotic to do van life. Neurotic? Yeah, I find like van life people to be really neurotic. It's almost annoying. I think you have to be insane not to live in a van. My friend just bought a house four hours away from his own house. So he drives four <laughs> hours to go to another house. So silly. That was the thing about living in LA. I was spending so much time in traffic. What if I just drove places at night? Because my dream growing up was I wanted houses all over LA so I could avoid traffic. Two birds, one stone. I've always wanted an off-grid cabin powered off of solar. So the van is such a dream come true for me and I never even knew it. Either you seen Jared Tachi's videos? The way he presents it, it's these luxury vans, like a lot like What's what name? you have. Jared Tachi, more real. His presentation, down and dirty. So I want him to tour my van. Like what's what's the most uh, ingenious thing you got going so far? I like my curtains. What's your opinion of people who are fully tattooed? I mean, fully. It's kind of funny, right? Because like 25 years ago, stuck up educated people would kind of look down. And now there's stuck up educated people that are fully tattooed. Yeah. If you had more than one tattoo, people would think you were ignorant. It's almost a prerequisite to have like a super hot girlfriend. Not, not one lady, <laughs> not, there's not one woman in Canada on the island that's not tattooed. It's not tattooed. I don't have any tattoos. The tattoo would turn me off. They look pretty hot. So yeah. the trend has changed your opinion. Yeah. There's more tasteful people doing it. That like know what to do that's going to look good. I think it's the same thing with van life. The more people that own vans will be less looked down upon as trash. Yeah. Unfortunately, cannabis will always have that stigma because it's a drug. Shitting in a bag, though, pretty rough for Whoever some people. Made a toilet where you stand plumbing in a waste of water. I don't know if you saw my video about that. 20 million people here that all of their toilet and sewer water goes out to the ocean by LAX. Leaks and smells and the people that live there have to deal with like horror. Every year they've had overrun waste. And it smells down there to where people live. And they close the beach. And they constantly talk about how our soil is depleted and it doesn't have all the nutrients we need. They do take the solids out. All the stuff that goes into the sewer leaches into the liquid that they can't, that just stays suspended in the liquid. They can't really get it out. They send it out into the ocean and kills the Great Barrier Reef. Anyways, I'm the sewer system, especially in the west where we already don't even have enough water, yeah, doesn't true. make sense. We need to go back to outhouses. Yeah. It's the law. With horse bedding pellets. Here in, yeah, horse bedding pellets are, they really help, especially if you're like throwing up or something. Malibu actually has a really cool law. People that live here can afford the laws like this or building a new house and they have to put in this uh, sewer system like a French drain kind of thing it like goes underground gray water like the stuff that comes out of the sink the shower could go back into the earth and it, there's no toxins yeah. goes into the sewer system under the house and so the it's, earth filters it. and it's just for the gray water yeah a lot of people in Malibu have septic tanks but it does filter it into the aquifer Right, it goes into the aquifer. Our aquifers are constantly being depleted. Don't think that van life people tend to be really neurotic. The general term neurotic. I haven't felt as mentally well ever since I'm in the van. Yeah. I know that I'm doing the right thing for the earth, for us. That couple from Alabama, they spent three months on the road. They thought it was oh, a, yeah. the most challenging thing when they started out, and then they said, this is the best thing we ever did. You don't know it till you do it. We're Go pioneers. On. Have you ever listened to any uh, van life podcasts? My Solo Road. Do you have any van life horror stories? Do we have any, journey? What chassis would you recommend? Jay Leno. <laughs> he has a lot of cars. Yeah. He believes in purpose-built cars. He doesn't really like utility vehicles. If he did get a van, he would get just the right amount of battery, just the right amount. It would be built to do exactly what he got it for. Like when you get a computer and you're like, let's just get the full RAM, like, like getting four-wheel drive. Like I'm probably not going to use it. I think you need the basic structure. You need a floor that has all the attachment, those tracks that you can but move you things around. But you don't need four-wheel drive, but you might buy it anyway because you're thinking, what if I 
What if I do wish I had it? So Winnebago has an overstock of diesel. We just learned this last week. They want to get rid of their back supply, six cylinder turbo. What they did is they came up with an adventure van, but they're charging too much for it. So Dave, we walked into the adventure van and Dale said, this is what we want. There's a little modular kitchen, all these tracks that you can move the kitchen from spot to spot, put in, it has no plumbing. The whole thing is wide open and you can move things around as you need it. I love my wide open van. Adventure but you guys van. enjoy the compartments. Talking about moving to the next level if I was to do something. Highly industrial looking instead of storage like this. They're all canvas bags that lock onto these tracks. So you're not interested in getting something longer? I don't want longer right now because we want to fit into parking spaces. Dale, well, this will okay. take a six. I can't even stay away. They mm -hmm. priced it at $155,000 and you're getting nothing. It doesn't have lithium batteries packed. You have to fill it up with water, like 10 gallons or 20 gallons of water. Bicycles could come in without being collapsed. If I had unlimited funds, have you seen the, the Airstream? Interstate? Yeah, big silver van. So a step down from there, an electric van. Mercedes, if I could find one. Ford is has the highest roof that's available. That would be kind of cool. Next room up top. You get an electric van. You're not going to be able to travel across the country. You can start plugging stuff in. Tons of power to run your cooking and like anything. It's all in the electric. Yeah, the infrastructure for charging is out there. If you're not planning on driving far, ever an electric van it could be amazing think of how much space saved by not having to get a, an electric setup i have a lot of shit that i'm plugging in a lot of batteries tons of solar and i wouldn't need any of that if i could plug in places but that's not an adventure van an apartment to live in that's not too far away from any chargers whoa 150k for a promaster ford transit oh okay van and everything 30k 155 155. Winnebago Adventure Van 44M Mercedes 4x4 turbo diesel, which is this chassis. L track tie down system with rings. I would do that over any stationary cabinetry. The heavy duty canvas bags with orange ties. It's not a, it's not a Mickey Mouse thing. It's really solid. It's a little soft. Yeah. Right? What you have is great. They it's the it. wrong time to upgrade because in five years, there's going to be stuff that people aren't can't even dream of right now. You know, you already have something great pulled off as long as you can. We're not unhappy with what we have. Flash of wanting to spend some money and renew it, so this we're up to almost forty thousand miles. I said, wait a minute, the value's going to keep going down, but the same one with less mileage for one hundred forty-four thousand. I offered me a hundred thousand a tree. Well, totally unfair. I think you didn't want it. See, now that would be the thing. If you did have the opportunity to get the right number for this van to be a good opportunity to upgrade. I'm not sure what the upgrade is. Different things instead of waking up in the same apartment. Zion National Park, we might stop there. That's van life, right? Hey, where's your friend? He's gone too? Ooh. He hasn't been here all day. I saw him today. Yeah, this morning. Oh, oh okay. Let's see him. Bye. to be on a bank. Six pack, hair back, hand. No surgery though. The Raw Van Life podcast. Shitting in a, in a bag podcast. Put it up to a vote. A lot of people seem to really like that name, but we went with the Raw Van Life podcast. Showering in a bag podcast and something else that starts with an S in a bag. People don't really understand the whole showering in a bag concept yet. Not clickbaity enough. I can grab two railroad ties right here with some rebar in front of it. You said this two years ago. No, it's gonna happen this year. I can buy them this year. Oh, shit. Your cigarette's killing me. Don't be a pushy to grow up. My cafe. <laughs> they don't like non-smokers. Apparently. If you're a non-smoker, go f yourself. Oh, they will. Get out of here. I'm about to. Tito is here like almost every day, like clockwork. Like, you know, at least I got to hang out with one of my best friends. <laughs> How do you stop it to him? Because he's fucking, you, you know how he needs therapy, therapy, dog. Van Life Beach today. We 
he said Q. <laughs> they waited a long time. Good one, dude. Points for every second. Put my back to it, but act like I'm holding it. Action. All right, very well done. That's one take. Talent out here today. What does that say to you, that American flag? It's saying to me that the f***ing south wind's blowing, dude. It's gonna be a warm day. I thought I was being all like political or something. Diarrhea is hereditary. It runs in your jeans. There's no limit. You get them all. Big facts. Big talk. Kid rock, whatever you want. Oh, no, not. No. My girlfriend cheated on me. I thought we were gonna get married. Over there giving her the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I telling you this? What up, Rock? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine. It's not? I don't think so. Seat massages. I want to Right next to you. I mean, like, right next to you. Can Look you even, that. can you still get it up at your age? Talking to him? No, you! <laughs> Wait, how, all you think you're a spring chicken? <laughs>